Hey YouTube, this is Miss O. In various comments on my videos and exchanges with LGBT activists, there's a presumption that I'm speaking out on these issues for religious reasons. Actually, they just cannot get past the tudong and listen to what I'm saying. Stereotype much? Look, as a Muslim, it makes no difference to me whether 377A is repealed or retained. Let me tell you why. In Islam, we have our own prohibition on gay and sex. And that will remain regardless of what happens to 377A. Tak kisah ada ke tidak tau. It will still be banned in our religion, whether that is 377A or not. Faham tak? Adultery is not illegal in the penal code in Singapore, but it's still prohibited in our religion. This is why you don't see very many Muslims speaking out about this. For Muslims, the issue is already settled. But anti-religion people always imagine that religious people are trying to impose their beliefs on them. As Muslims, we had our own 377A for the last 1400 years and will continue to have it regardless of whether repeal or retention. This is the religious stance. I am speaking about this because I am a Singaporean citizen and I believe in the correctness of this law for Singapore. I am immensely proud of the fact that Singapore has taken a uniquely rational, apolitical approach to the LGBT agenda. Unlike other countries that inherited Section 377A in their penal code, Singapore reviewed it, debated it, and altered and updated it to meet the particular needs and demands of our society. I admire the meticulousness of our parliament in identifying the most relevant portions of the law and discarding what was irrelevant. It is an excellent law and I have yet to encounter a single fact-based argument against it. I have yet to hear a non-ideological argument for its repeal. I have yet to hear, frankly, from any organizations such as Pink Dot or any LGBT organizations anything more than emotive slogan, hyperbole and outright lies. I'm extremely grateful that I live in a country where policy is not made on the basis of such nonsense, but upon research, data and real world facts. On the other hand, I, I hope to see more Muslims being more engaged in this issue. Not because they are Muslim, but because they are Singaporeans and should uphold their civic responsibility to promote the common good for the whole society. That means raising our voices to support to retain Section 377A. This is Miss O. Until next time.